This video will show you how to use the Visual Product Configurator tool for AC drives and soft starts. Before we get started, keep in mind that you can always go into the Instructions tab at the very top right to see the steps on how to create a part number as well as how to export a PDF document or to just save a copy of your part lists that you have completed through this tool. You also have a legend to tell you what each button or symbol means through this tool as well. To select the part number you're looking for, you have to go ahead and select the category type that fits your application. To select the soft start, click on the soft start icon and choose the software that fits best for the application you're working with. For our purposes here, let's go ahead and use a 48 soft start and click OK. Now we can go ahead and select whether we're either through a kilowatt rating or horsepower rating. And you also have to pick out the voltage rating that fits the application here. Once that's done, now you can go to the selection for the horsepower range and select the rating that you're looking for and click OK. Now you'll see that the part number is populated on the right hand side and you also have accessories that you can add to the parts list. You can always click on the hyperlink for the 48 software part number as well as click on the I symbol to go into the support and documents tab for the 48 software product line. Now let's go ahead and try to build a process drive part number in this tool. To do that, go into the process drives tab, select the voltage rating you're working with. Now you have two different application types for this process drive line. You have a normal duty option and you also have heavy duty option. The options may depend on the application along with the torque requirements. Once that's completed, you can always choose to pick the part number based upon a kilowatt rating or horsepower rating. And once you're happy with that selection, you can just use a drop down list to select the horsepower that you need for the end user or distributor. Once you've done that, click OK. And just like last time, you have the part number listed on the right hand side where you can click on them if you need additional documentation for the drive that you have selected. Now some things that are listed here and not listed here that I want to mention. Under the variable torque drives tab, the Altivar 6 to 1 drive line is no longer available and is an obsolete product. Under the constant torque drives tab, almost every single drive here is also obsolete with the exception of the ATV71 drive where you may still get that as an available option depending on the range of horsepower. But the rest are obsolete in this list. I also want to mention under constant torque drives tab, you do not have the ATV320 and the ATV930 drive lines updated here yet. They are available but just are not showing up in this tool as of now, so keep that in mind. But for choosing a soft start, or an ATV212 variable torque drive, or to go through a process drive, you can definitely use this tool to select the part number you're looking for.